Could Danny Brackett from Scream 6 still return in Scream 7 even without Sam Carpenter? That's what we're going to be discussing here today. I'm Pamela, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future posts. And please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's get into it. So I'm starting this new little series on my channel where I ask you guys a question, I take a poll, and then I include some of your comments in the video about it. Because I love hearing from you guys, so I thought it would be fun to include some of your responses in videos. So I asked you guys if you think that Danny Brackett, Sam's boyfriend in Scream 6, could still return in Scream 7 even without Sam being in the story. As you guys know, Melissa Barrera was fired, so she's not returning in Scream 7, unfortunately. Now, Josh Sagara, who plays Danny, was very confident that he would return. Before all of this drama, this was months ago, maybe like six months ago at this point, before we had any official announcement of anything regarding Scream 7. This was even before Scream 7 was officially announced. He did an interview and he said, your boy is coming back. If there's a Scream 7, I'll be in it. And then of course, all this terrible news happened with Melissa not returning. So I have asked here on my channel before, has anyone checked on him? Has anyone checked on Josh Sagara? Because he's probably devastated, not only for Melissa not being in Scream 7, but for himself because he seemed very excited to return. I loved the character Danny. I thought he was a lot of fun. He was pretty funny at times. No, I love it. I do. I thought he was a great boyfriend to Sam, very protective. But with that being said, I should also mention that I do have a theory on my channel that he could potentially be a ghost face. I'm not going to go into great detail about that in this video. So if you want to hear all the clues that I have that point towards him being a ghost face, you can check out some of my past videos that I will link down below for you. So I took a poll and I asked you guys, do you think Danny could still be written into the story or if his story is done? And 63% of you said his story is done and he should not return in Scream 7 without Sam. Which I totally get and I don't think that Scream 7 requires him at all. Like he doesn't need to be in it. But I do think that they could find a way to include him if they wanted to, you know, if they wanted to get as many returning characters as they could. Now that Melissa and Jenna are definitely not returning, it's nice to have familiar faces in a sequel rather than just all brand new characters. So I do think it is possible for them to find a way if they decided to. Not saying that they should. But now I'm going to read some of your comments. This comment says, Without the main character, Tara, Danny, and the twins are all needless because they were there because of Sam. That's fair. Sam was obviously the main character. I do think that the twins could still be in the story because their mom is Martha Meeks, who has history with Sydney. So if Sydney returns and it's a Sydney-focused story, they could definitely include Martha since they have history and then, you know, her kids could be there, the twins. But I did just recently post on my channel here that Jasmine Savoy Brown has not received a phone call from Spyglass. So there's a good chance that the twins won't be in Scream 7 either. This comment says, it might turn out that he also was a ghost face in 6 and they might mention him without him actually being in the movie. Or there is a mocker cult of ghost faces and he is a member. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, I... I do say that in my past theory videos. I did just post a video the other day who is in Sumagra's cult and I do mention Danny. Like I said, I'm not going to go into great detail about why I think he could be a ghost face. You can check out my past videos on that, but it's never been done before in the franchise, in the movies, where a character who we thought was good for an entire movie gets away with it and is later revealed in a sequel. That would be cool to see. This comment says, would be a tough sell since he was Sam's lover in six. He'd be out of place without her involved and that sucks because his character was the perfect decoy. 
Yeah, I agree. It would be tough to bring him back without Sam, but not impossible. They still could find a way. Maybe Gail is still in New York and, I don't know, she runs into him or he decides to help her with the next ghost face attack. Or, like I've said before, maybe he could be revealed as a ghost face. And it does suck if he doesn't come back because I thought he was a great addition. This comment says, Danny Johnson from Dead by Daylight is Ghostface in that universe. My theory is Scream 6 Danny Brackett is Danny Johnson. I have heard this a bunch. People comment this all the time on my channel. I don't play Dead by Daylight, so, you know, I don't know anything about that. But I have heard a lot of people say maybe Danny is Ghostface because Danny Johnson is Ghostface in the game. This comment says he only makes sense if Sam is in the mix. This comment says maybe they write Sam like they did with Sydney in 6. But Danny comes despite Sam's wishes so there's at least a connection to the past movies. I would like that. I think that would make sense. This comment says I think anything is possible as long as characters are still alive. So he definitely could. Now should Danny return without Sam? I don't think it would make sense without Sam. Without the dynamic of their relationship, there's not much to ground Danny to the story. His presence alone would raise too many questions too. Where is Sam? Are they still together? How was he pulled into the story without her? All fair points. He is still alive, so he definitely could return. But without Sam, it might be a little awkward. <laughs> this comment says, Before I saw the pic, I was like, Who the f*** Danny Brackett? Hardly the most memorable of characters. I kind of get where you're coming from because if you think about it, he didn't have too many scenes, but he did stand out to me. I, I really liked his character. This comment says, it's a shame because his only real connection to the story was Sam and more than likely they're going to drop his character given everything that's been going on. True. With the movie losing a lot of its main cast, it's always possible. Yeah, so like I said, it's nice to have a familiar face in a sequel. So if the core four is not going to be in it, it might be nice to have Danny back and they might decide they actually want to bring him back. This comment says, sadly, I feel his story is done. Not really needed now. New York is where he lives and he went wherever with Sam. A real shame, but definitely time to move on from him. Pity because there was so much potential. Yeah, it is a shame because I think him and Sam could have had a great story in Scream 7. It was way too convenient and odd to kick him out of the movie during the last act. I agree, kind of. I think he could have been used a lot more. This comment says, I think he was part of the cult, just waiting for his time so he definitely could be back. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I talk about that in past videos. Stu Mocker's Ghostface cult, I do think is going to be revealed in Scream 7, and I think it's possible that Danny could be a part of that. May or may not happen. Probably not, if I'm being honest, because Danny probably won't even return. But it would be cool to see, and... In my opinion, I just think it's a shame that we're probably never going to see Danny Brackett again. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future posts. And please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.